we made these actually with, with Setco uh, and uh, Bob Trauger and uh, Patrick uh, Carpenter, a number of us who were working on these ideas a number of years ago, created these, actually created these uh, composite materials with the polymer in the inner layer space. And then we ran a series of tests on these. Um, and some of these tests were really long too because we had to get them to chemical equilibrium. This is what, if, if you've been in graduate school and you, your professor says, just run that test for another month, and sooner or later, students say, I'm going to graduate. I'm not running this test for another day. Some of these tests were very challenging from that perspective. They took a long time to run. But we, we ran te tests with different solutions. We, and we measured hydraulic conductivities on these kind of mock, we made mock GCLs with this bentonite polymer material. And uh, this is hydraulic conductivity versus calcium chloride concentration. So a divalent. And we went from very dilute, this is deionized water, over to really concentrated. And we ran tests with conventional bentonite as a control. And we ran tests with just a polymer itself. We bought some of it commercially. You know, so, and, and we ran it on our composite material. And this is the data that we found. So first of all, you look at regular bentonite as you put a concentrated calcium, even a dilute calcium solution, and it goes from impermeable to very permeable. Bring in the ca calcium divalent, it becomes very permeable, orders of magnitude. And if we did a test on the polymer alone, it's a granular polymer, you can run a hydraulic conductivity test, so we get the same thing. The composite material is completely different, completely different. With deionized water, it was really impermeable, but it was most impermeable with a really strong solution, which is not what we expected. We figured there would be some break point, but it was actually worked the best under the most aggressive conditions. This told us we had a good idea uh, and not only would it do it with calcium solutions, we could do it for a whole range of pH, like I showed here on, on the right. Neutral solutions, we could get down to pH 1, and it would still be impermeable, whereas a conventional bentonite, very permeable. pH 13, like we could do the bauxite liquor.